Welcome back, welcome back. It is me, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Johnny Lang, Lie to Me. Let's see what he has to say. Thank you, everybody. We got time to do one more song for you. Thank you so much. expecting a more aggressive like rock and roll vocal just based off how the move the music came in doo, 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 doo. like I don't know and, and, and he has what feels like a rock and roll persona but then he sings and it's this like bluesy jazzy I don't know <gasps> the best most pleasant surprise I love the song. It's like, lie to me. Lie to me, please. Just, just tell me all the things I want to hear. Lie to me. <laughs> um, wow, I'm stunned. I'm stunned in the best way. What a surprise. And he's like skinny and lanky, but he's got this like hearty vocal that you feel like should come from someone who's got a little more meat on their bones and as a fellow skinny lanky kind of person right on brother right right on <laughs> go, ahead, lie to go ahead lie to me please Appearance doesn't matter anymore. You gotta give me something to hold on to if I'm a if, if, if I'm a stay in this lie. I mean, you can see, right? Like I'm turning my head because you can see the uh, vibra. Like he's the guy dropping the jaw, shaking. Like he, there's so much soul, and I love the juxtaposition of his very soulful voice. Literally, like he could sing a Motown song perfectly, but it's over this very like rock kind of musical situation and they marry very well and then the lyrics are great like this is the perfect storm for me i think and he can play the guitar like nobody's business okay why not why not johnny lay Oh, he's feeling it. He's in it. I 
love the chorus of all of them coming in. Did something happen to his? I was just about to say, and there's someone running onto the stage with another guitar. Did something happen to his guitar? It was making like a, an interesting sound. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Um, he feels like he is having an outer body experience. Is this how he normally performs? Like it just feels like he's um, maybe in a different realm than the rest of us. I don't know. Um, I mean, holy cow. I'd love to know who his influences are, like who he grew up listening to, because I feel like he sounds like he was influenced by many different genres. Um, but I'd love to know the story behind that from him. Never miss the beat. He played that guitar to death. He killed the guitar, y'all. He played it to death. I love it. You can hear the guitar saying, go ahead and lie to me. Listen, you can hear it. You can literally hear it. Ready? I don't think I've hit a stank face like this in quite some time. Like my face hurts, but it's stuck on stank. It's stuck on stank. Good grief. <laughs> Wish I had a tambourine. I can't tell if the audience is actually enjoying it or not. Yeah, I'm not sure if he maybe he was performing at a festival where a lot of people just weren't uh, privy to who he was before then or what, because it says it was in Nuremberg, Nuremberg, Germany. Um, but it just feels like the people didn't have the right energy that they should have. And again, like maybe this is the first time hearing him, but I love that he introduced the whole band. That's why it makes me feel like he was in front of a newer audience. Sensational. Sensational. What do y'all want? What else? What else do you want me to say? I thought it was sensational. That's all I got for you. Go and have the day you deserve. Bye.